I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. Oh. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. Who knows where they were going to take you? I have to keep you and Zoe safe. I have to, you know? Brave is good. Dying is bad, okay? Yeah, okay. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. Surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Were you the one who called 911? <laughs> I dialed and left it off the hook. <laughs> We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small-town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. your mouth shut and don't make me come in here again what was that all about there's a second phone if the sheriff calls again good thinking can you get your hands free <sighs> yes no good that's too tight all right how do we do this friction maybe or we use scissors or we use scissors Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. 
I'll cough. On three. One, two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? Dad, he's got brain cancer. He isn't hurt exactly, but with all the stress. I hear what you're saying. We'll get him out, okay? What else? You're good. Keep going. The people doing this... There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. I think his name's Dale. He seems sort of a loose cannon, maybe. Yep, that's Dale. Caught him assaulting a liquor store owner a few years back, and <laughs> somehow he thinks that was my fault. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Nothing. I didn't have time. You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, I keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want... Is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for the airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. Made the 
right decision. Now, all you gotta do is wake up and do it for real. <sighs> Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office, but this time I actually signed the... A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until 7 to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Some dreams never get off the ground. Dish is done. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? stretch now. Okay. If this is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Ethereal thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Really gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, <laughs> shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Hey, Buster, of course I did. 
Vince's moving company at your service. Why, yes, <laughs> we do accept tips. That might be taking it too far. Oh, I don't know. I'll be living on handouts if I mess up this new job. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationery cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? Come on, let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? <laughs>